times, but not for this tournament. This tournament has, other than a cola, it's got basically almost every top player in Japan, and Ken as well, but most of the top players in Japan are at this tournament. It's, it started. Yep, there it is. So, yeah, as expected, he's just coming in with his confirms. Ah, he shielded under it. That was really good of level one to avoid probably another 30, 40 percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this Mickey's is using a lot of like turnips into like just like full momentum like jump into like forward toss and there. Mm. But yeah, that's pretty much like the only thing Daisy has in the matchup, I feel like. Yeah, there's not really, as you were saying before, there's not really much she can do. Because you can see she throws a turnip in for um, coverage when she's trying to get in, mm -hmm. but. She's just waiting. She's spending a lot of the game just waiting. Ah, he caught the turn up, I think. Oh, he didn't catch it, but it didn't hit him. And makes it back to center stage. Oh, yeah. I, I think the turn up edge guards are pretty dangerous for, as, like, Toon Link. Because, mm. like, it can, it can sometimes clip tether, and it, it'll um reliably, like, hit up bees as well. Yeah, it'll just be on... um level one to have a bomb ready at that point to where he can basically get another chance with his upbeat but mm -hmm. i mean being at this level caliber of player especially a toon link specialist you can assume they're gonna have a very very good recovery oh use his toon link's bomb to like continue yeah, her combos yeah, leave it to leave it to her character specialist or a daisy specialist like umeki to be good with item play <laughs> So, I mean, this game is really, really even so far. Nobody's mm -hmm. really making any massive headway. The percent is basically even. I mean, level one has Daisy in the corner, but then he immediately gets put back to center stage. Just needs to get put back. And level one has a bomb ready basically at all times. And that's just... Oh yeah, because be... <laughs> Day Daisy can't really punish the Toon Link for like some like spawning out bomb, really. It's not really fast enough, right? Yeah. Okay, Daisy will absolutely make this back, but percents are really really even, and I think I assume I ha I can't, I didn't check. Um, oh. Oh, that was... I assume that Umeki is seated to win this match, if I'm not mistaken. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, Just I, going off, like, placements, but... Yeah, I'm guessing, too. Like, seating-wise, like, player-wise, I feel like Umeki is, like, a higher-ranked player, oh. but, like... You hate to see it. He he got mm -hmm. thrown by Daisy or by Umeki, and then the, his, his own bomb got hit with the snake syndrome right there. His own bomb took him off the top. Yeah, that was a really good awareness by Umeki. It's like when those um, people who play Kirby against Snake, they wait for Snake to grab a grenade and then they up throw him. It's insane, <laughs> really, really good way to get a stock when you may not be able to get it in a different way. Yeah, Umeki's in the lead right now. It's very interesting because, like, I feel like... Um, he's, he's been struggling all game, but I guess that happens, that's what happens when you play, like, a character with, like, very high amounts of, like, damage. Mm. Yeah, with, when you have a character like Daisy with, like, crazy high damage output in an incredible combo game, it just, but poor movement, it just makes one opening that was such a good call out on the ledge jump. Okay, so Umeki takes it one over... 1-0 over level 1 so far, so we'll just have to see if level 1 is able to make the necessary adjustments. I assume he can do it. Level 1's obviously a very good player, especially to make it, um, what's it called, this far into the bracket. This is, I think this as well, this is a top 8 qualifier on winner's side, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a top 8 qualifier. 
Okay, uh, game two, we have PS2. This is, okay, they're going to PS2. I mean, it makes sense, because I assume that, um, after what was happening last game, mm -hmm. um, level one wanted a little bit more space to where he could kind of sit back and throw projectiles without worrying AZ rushing in, mm -hmm. just like this. So this counter pick makes sense, because also, um, Toon Link, just like all the other Links, I believe, does really well with killing off the top. And PS2 is very known for having low blast zones. So, oh, oh wow. good turn up. Yeah, he didn't know. Oh, he has another one. <laughs> well, does, does level one know this time? Oh, yeah, he probably knows. He know? He's very, being very careful. Yep. Does he know? Ah, he knows. Okay. And yeah, Daisy makes that back, able to avoid all the hits. And the hit is is back in news. Okay, really good confirm off that bomb. That was so good, using the side B to just come back aggressively, because um, hit was obviously waiting for him to come back. Is he going to get the... Is that it? Yep. Great DI coming in from Umeki right there. Another one? Is that enough? Yes, yes it is. Okay. Yeah, I think that side B was like because of like the buff. I I think before it wouldn't have like hit. Maybe not. Yeah, but I mean that side B buff was insane. But I mean I will say, characters stupid, but they do kind of need it. Like they have an insane tool like that. But it's okay. Still not the best player, not the best character in the game. We all know who that is. <laughs> and has another turn up ready going to okay just z drops it but um hit adjusted his get up timing to not get hit with it good stuff on hit not getting hit getting knocked back he has off. another one <laughs> he's getting very lucky with his turn ups like That's i don't that. think it might he really needs them like he's he's like doing fine without them Ah, uh, but that's that Umeki RNG. Mm -hmm. And okay, jump call did it out again from uh, level one, and he takes the lead. Okay. Yeah, dash tech is like unsafe on shield, so like it makes like the opponent want to like um, put on aggression, but yeah. he just has an up smash, like so like he just mashes out. Yeah. And. Toon Link's up smash is also really fast. Is he made? Okay. Awesome tech. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he had the bomb ready, but he's not making this back. Yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote. So good on Umeki because um, obviously level one was ready for that situation because he came back from the depths like two times in a row, but mm -hmm. Umeki was ready to capitalize saying, no, I don't care how many bombs you have and how many times you use up B. You're not getting back to stage. It, it was like so, very good on both parts because like yeah. level one was like dodging a lot of stuff that Umeki was trying to do like, it just ended up in Umeki's favor he clutched it out in that interaction at the very end that is Umeki he is he is the clutch god speaking of which is he able is he going to be able to bring this back because he was down like 90% just a few seconds ago but he's Basically, one turnip combo away from evening the game and maybe taking the game. Yeah, is... against like Peach, you can't really count her out. She can like no, kill you know. off of anywhere, but she can also like struggle to kill un until like 180% and stuff. Yep. It's just a matter of is level one going to give Umeki another turnip pull? No, because the bomb confirmed. Really good stuff. Okay. So, level 1 comes in with the rebuttal to that. So, now it is a 1-1 one, one game. We are going into game 3. I assume they're going back to PS2. That's just my prediction. Mm, I don't know if Umeki would like PS2. It's, like, a very big stage for, like, level 1 to, like, camp around. I, I, I have a feeling he would prefer other stages. But at the same time, it makes it easier for Umeki to, like, um get his turnips which was it which is like one of his win conditions yeah uh yeah at that point hit or not hit i keep calling him hit level one knew that and he just kept the pressure on not letting him get a turnip pull 
and was able to get the, the set or the stock and the game for it. So good for him. Uh, I've been talking for a minute. My voice is getting tired. Sorry, I need to drink, drink some water. Yeah, game three went on small battlefield. Uh, yeah, yeah I've, it's a lot of smaller stage, and I'm I'm guessing like we make you won like the rock paper scissors game one or something. Yeah, that makes sense because this is where game one was played. If I'm not right, uh huh. Game one was small battlefield, then PS2, and then back at small battlefield when it's Umeki's counter pick. So yeah, I assume that the original stage pick was in Umeki's favor. Just, just a prediction, but I'm probably right. It's good, oh, good tech. tech. Oh my gosh. Umeki made this back though, but... Okay, back at center stage. Don't jump, don't jump. That's how we got you last time. Yeah, level one's good at like baiting after like whiffing attacks. Yeah, he like, is. If like Umeki bites, he get level one get punishes. Oh, another stitch face. How? Off the turnip. There it is. Yeah, that was that was a huge. <laughs> that was so good. What's the ter like stitch face count right now? Like four, Probably like three, five, five. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. I haven't kept count, but no. I mean, I feel like that's super common for Umeki. Like Mute A is obviously an incredibly good player, but I feel like his RNG is not as as good as Umeki's, which isn't a skill. It's just luck. But Umeki has luck on his side. Okay, good to jump over the tether grab. And dropping, okay, it doesn't go for the turnip. He goes for a float into down here, but it doesn't hit. And they just traded projectiles at that point. I heard, like, the RNG gets, like, messed up if you, like, have the switch, the, the game on for, like, too long. Really? Like, I don't know if it's true, but, like, I've heard rumors of that. So, yes, yeah, so someone might need to, like, restart the game. <laughs> Oh, no, no, because I, I want Umeki to win, no bias, but I'm, I'm happy <laughs> after with the, the way set, the RNG after, is. After the yeah, after this set, they can reset it, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and, but even with Umeki's RNG, um, level one is putting up a really good fight, and uh -huh. he's just get okay, and there he goes, He it's only 1%, but he does take the lead and puts, ah, uh, the turnips, man, he's just so good with them. Umeki's really good at, like, recatch the turnip as, as he gets the hit in. Because, like, it, it disappears right after, like, if, if you get, if you, like, hit something with it. Yeah. Okay, good boomerang for insurance coming back. That almost killed, but good DI coming in from Umeki on this next one. And I don't, I think, I hope hit kind of catches on. About the way he's edge guarding because the ledge guarding, sorry, because Umeki just keeps coming back from the ledge aggressively and he's getting and basically because of those interactions, mm -hmm. Umeki's getting back to stage for free almost every single time. Okay, good rule in from Umeki. Is he going to be able to continue this lead? Okay, he has a turnip and Nothing yet, nothing yet. Okay, throws it. Ah, there's the catch again, just like you said. He throws it up for insurance, catches the bomb, but it explodes and he throws it back. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, wow. That... A returning boomerang into up air. Okay, this is... Oof. I ult when Link's down air me like that and my shield is already halfway, I'm always afraid it's going to shield break. Yeah. Even though I feel like it never will, I always have that fear. <laughs> I, I think the Toon Links are going for that, right? Usually? A down air? Yeah, like the like you just need one more hit for like a shield poke, shield break maybe, yeah. and then you try it out. Okay, gets sent back off stage, and oh, uh, he air dodged. Okay, but he still makes it back because he did the air dodge to get through the turnip, but he still had his jump and his upbeat to make it back, so there's no problem. But now Umeki is at ledge. Oh, okay. And 
And then he, a uh, Daisy, Daisy hit him, hit Young Link with, or I'm sorry, Toon Link with that thang to knock him off the side. And there we go. Yeah, roll into float cancel back air is very a very strong option for Peach and Daisy. So good. Yeah. They're, those characters are stupid. That, that, that's such a strong character. Like roll into like anything. Like roll into like Weefa Trainer F tilt. Roll into Mim and Down Smash. I don't want to talk about Min Min and Weepa Trainer. <laughs> <laughs> no offense zone. No offense zone. Okay. And yeah, okay. I think, yeah, your prediction was right. Um, because every time it is level 1 to counterpick, they're going to PS2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like Umeki had the original counterpick, or the original stage pick, and then it's just been on level 1 to counterpick ever since. Yeah. And you can see why he likes this stage, because it's so wide to where he can shoot an arrow, run in, dash back out. And, oh my gosh, what an interaction. Oh, bomb. The bomb! And, and it hits. I'm, like, for, for, uh, I don't know. Fortunately for level one, it didn't, like, send, it sent the other way. Yeah, send it to the right. But honestly, with a little bit more percent, even though it was sent the wrong way, it probably would have killed that bomb. Is Maybe. So yeah. <laughs> and Z-drop, okay. He didn't Z-drop. He actually threw it down. And I don't know if it was because of that or not, but level one was able to avoid it. So he's just going to keep coming in, shooting his projectiles, but then Daisy jumps over them. With the per, um the turnips, it almost feels like Umeki, even though they're in the late game already, it feels like he's conditioning him to like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to throw it here so you're going to jump. I'm going to throw it here so you, now you're not going to jump. Oh, no. He has a much to chase. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, he caught it. Oh, my God. Look at, look at hit coming in, or look at level one coming in. That was not a level one play. That was a level five play. And look at those. His is bomb. that another bomb? Wait. No, it's... he fell into it. You hate to see it. Or you that was love to so see it. unfortunate because, like, usually, like, um, if you throw a bomb, it just, like, just explodes on, like, when it hits the ground. But I think right. he dropped it because he got hit. And he asked, he landed on top of it. Yeah. Because you could see it was, um, it was flashing like it was about to explode already. Uh -huh. And then, um... I think that surprised level one and he got scared and air dodged into it and then fell right on top of it and got the stock. And you could see him kind of reel back right as that happened. Oh no. You hate to see it or you love to see it. I don't know. But that was. Speaking of RNG, that was Meki's second bomb this game. I think it was his second one this stock. Mm -hmm. and, and he got a stitch in the same, same game. I know. What is. What is he on right now? Okay, and Umeki makes it back, but that is going to be the stock with the up air off the top. Coming back down. And, I mean, level one has a pretty good lead right now. It is absolutely his game to lose, because he's just keeping his, di okay, keeping his distance, but um, Umeki, oh, is this it? Yep. This floats right out there to the forward air, and there's really nothing that um, Toon Link can do in that circumstance. You just kind of have to take the hit because if you use your up B, after you hit them, you're just going to fall down. Mm -hmm. The only option at that point would have been um, that I can think of immediately would have been to up B and try and take them off the left side, but then you risk them falling out and then you just fall into your death. So yeah, that was kind of a... It wasn't checkmate, but it was very close to checkmate at that point. So really good stuff coming in from Umeki to even the game up. And I, I like how it was like two like two bombs, like the two bombs that like Umeki hit plus the stitch yeah. face and level one is still out on top. Like right now, as of now. Kind of insane though, right? I mean, yeah. the first bomb didn't kill and normally when you, when Daisy pulls a bomb, you're kind of expecting, okay, this is going to be the stock, right? Uh-huh. It was not the case with the first one. It was with the second one, but this game is even right now, and um, level one is back at the ledge, but then he switched positions, got back to center stage. <gasps> oh, my. Charged up smash call out, so that is 
in favor of um, Umeki coming in. And if I'm not mistaken, that is my time for now. And I believe Skylock is going to jump in to commentate with you for the next bit before z Mengs comes in a little bit later. So oh, anyways, yeah, yeah I, I just checked in Discord and I saw it. So I just pinged him, so I'm sure he'll come in soon. So anyways, uh, thank you for commentating with me, Zone. I had a good time as always. And whoever is watching on Twitch, just keep watching. I mean, there's still a lot of good games to be played, a lot of good sets to happen. So keep watching as we continue on with Suma Battle number 46. Thank you, guys. Why oh, mute? This is how I... <laughs> okay. Um, I guess until, like, Skylock jumped in, jumps in, I will... It will just be me for a little moment. Uh, we don't really have our next game yet. Uh, but let's see. I guess Yoshidora Ash Ashimo is going on already in one of the streams. Um, we might see a loser set. Hello? Oh, hey Skylock. Hi. It's been like very long. <laughs> I know, I know. I've been in America. I've been cooking, but I'm back in my element now. Um, mm -hmm. for for this tournament. Oh my god, it's been a while. Yep. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing good. It's a uh, four. It's it's good. 